All right, guys, welcome back to No Filter MMA. This is your boy BJ with another video short. Oh, boy. So the finale rounds itself out. The Tough 28 finale rounds itself out. So my girl Leah Letson goes up against Macy Kiazon in the featherweight finale for Tough. So, of course, everybody was, you know, projecting Letson to, to win this um to win this this tournament, you know, to to be in the finale, but you know, you know, things just didn't go her way. Now, Letson put a beating on, um, well, Letson and, and and B Maleki got in there and, and really beat each other up, you know. So after seeing Letson get the win over Maleki, you know, I was I was curious to see who she was gonna fight next, and then it ended up being Macy Kiazon. So, Macy Kiesa, the, the fight starts. Round one, TKO stoppage. It broke my heart. You guys know Leah Lesson's been on this show a couple of times in the past, and she will be in the future, most definitely. But what I've learned, guys, is, you know, no matter how much you like a fighter, no matter how much you root for a fighter, you know, sometimes your favorites lose, you know. So, going into this tournament, going into the beginning of tough, you know, I was definitely... A little biased, uh, to you know, with for Leah Letson because Leah Letson's a friend of mine. You know, I've interviewed her a couple times on on No Filter MMA. So, you know, of course I'm rooting for for Leah Letson, and it was very sad to see her lose. But, anyways, guys, just a little talk of the action. Round starts off Leah Letson pumping the jab. You know, what I'm saying keeping the distance, exactly what they worked on. You know, and and and. You know, Macy, Macy, stay patient. You know, she she knows Leah's gonna come forward. She knows Leah's gonna apply the pressure. Um, and and they clinch up. You know, um, they clinch up and then they separate and then they clinch up again. So uh she gets Leah, she 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 throws Leah down on the ground, Leah's on her back, and and well, well, no, 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 yeah. Yeah, Leah was on her back, and then Leah gets back up. And Macy Kiazon starts throwing hellacious, nasty, nasty knees. I mean, she it was like something switched. Like, like something, something, Leah must have done something that pissed Macy off in this fight. Because Macy just turned into Supergirl, Superwoman. And she just throws knee after knee after knee after knee. And it eventually it breaks Leah down. You know? And, and it was very sad to see. You know, Leah's my girl. You know, shout out to Leah Letson, by the way. You know, great run, Leah. I'm excited to see, you know, see you fight Friday night. Um, so but yeah, great, great job, Leah Letson. But yeah, guys, I mean, she Macy, shout out to Macy Kiazon as well, you know. Uh, I mean, those were those were some devastating knees that she landed um, to the body, to the bread basket, and just to the body. I mean, she took, she took, she 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 broke Leah's will to fight. Leah goes down. I mean, those liver shots hurt, guys. You know, Leah goes down, and and, and the fight's over. The ref stops the fight. You know, she can't continue to fight, and. It really what 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 really got to me a little bit was the emotion that Letson showed after the fact, you know, to see Letson lose like that because Letson puts guys. I don't think there's a woman in the in in in, in MMA that works harder than Leah Letson. I mean, I hate to say it, Leah's up and coming, guys. You know, she's 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 rising up the rankings. You know, she's rising up, but I don't think there's anybody that works as hard as Leah Letson, guys. I mean, Leah Letson is. A very, very hard worker. Very hard worker. And she's very passionate about MMA. She's very passionate about the sport. And that's one thing that I absolutely admire about Leah Letson. So no doubt in my mind, Leah Letson won't be back. Stronger than ever. Definitely stronger than ever. But, um, you know, she will not be fighting to be the ultimate fighter. But it's, it's, it's okay because Leah Letson, in her back pocket which no other girl that's on the show has, is Leah Lesson already has that contract. <laughs> Leah Lesson already got the contract. See, y'all, people forget that. 
You know, people forget that. Leah Letson already has the contract. So, you know, it, for her to know that she, it, Leah could have easily been like, oh, well, I lost. So what? I got the con. I still have a contract with the UFC. You know, and and the way that Dana White was looking at Leah when she was I mean, she she bawled her eyes out in in in, in the octagon, and the way Dana was looking at her like you know, that's passionate. He likes that. That's passion. She wanted that. She wanted to be in the finale so bad. You know, because this is her dream, guys. This is this is her dream. Not taking anything away from Macy Kiazon, but this is Lesson's dream. She's been saying this. For a long time, her dream, not necessarily that her dream is to be the ultimate fighter, but her dream is to be the best and to be the champion. And no doubt in my mind, Leah has all the potential in the world to be the champion. So, so with that being said, guys, you know, shout out to Leah Lesson, shout out to Macy Kiazon. It was a great fight. I'm excited to see who Leah is going to be fighting in the finale. My guess is Katarina Liner. Because that just seems like a really good matchup for Leah. Um, and, and, and Leah's a good matchup for Katarina as well. So I'm thinking she's going to, I, I'm guessing she's going to fight, um, I'm guessing she's going to fight Katarina Liner, guys. So I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing that out there. But yeah, guys, uh, so we got Panny Kianza versus Macy Chiesa for the featherweight tough finale winner. Well, my question is, how many of these girls are going to stay at featherweight? Because they're a bunch of bantamweights, except for Leah. You know, Leah's fought at bantamweight, but Leah's a featherweight. Leah is definitely a featherweight. So with that being said, who will go down? How many of these girls are going to stick to this division? With, with girls at the top of this division like um, like Megan Anderson and Cyborg, how many of these girls are really going to want to fight Megan Anderson or Cyborg and possibly Kat Zingano, possibly uh, Holly Holm, you know? So who? that's my biggest question is how many of these girls are going to drop down to back, back down, excuse me, Drop back down to 135 because these girls are 99% of these girls are bantamweights. I don't see B. Malecki making 135. Um, I may be wrong, I don't know a lot about B. Malecki. Maybe B. Malecki has fought at 135. Well, no, her MMA record, she doesn't, she doesn't have, she doesn't have, she doesn't have a fight. Her record is zero and zero. So, no, Malecki, I don't see Malecki making 135. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, this is what we got. Uh, shout out to Leah Letson. Shout out to Macy Kiazan. Um, once again, like I said, guys, I know Leah's going to be back stronger than ever. So it is what it is. But this is your boy BJ from No Filter MMA. Uh, hit the like button, comment, and don't forget to subscribe.